he was one of the most powerful poses because all of the limbs are involved, the chest and the heart is being opened. There's this lovely huge stretch on the front side of the body that goes all through the front of the hips all the way down, this lovely stretch and of course there's this amazing big full back bend that's happening as well. But at the same time, it can be quite a challenge to initially sort of get into it if you're a beginner. So if you're a beginner, remember we can always use the yoga belt. So you can pop the belt around the feet, even if you can't reach the feet. A belt around the feet means that you can, you can get the feet up and you can create the back bend if you're in a beginner. So important things like we talked about uh, in one of the earlier classes was when you're down and doing these poses down on your tummy, the breath needs to be down and into the tummy. So really, you know, deep belly breaths is what you're looking for and that creates that uh, airbag cushion that supports the spine from underneath. Okay, so you would start down onto your tummy and again, you want to feel like your hips are nice and even onto the floor and then just let your, your tummy just completely relax down into the floor. And then if you bring your knees together and the feet together, bend the knees and then reach back and try and take a hold of the ankles. So this is where if you were a beginner and you couldn't reach there, you could pop a belt around your feet and you could still hold the belt and you could still teach this in a beginner's class. But if you can, take a hold of the ankles, knees are together, toes are together, and I want to draw the shoulder blades together and pull them down and away from my neck, so I release this, any tension that's in the neck here. So if the shoulders are up around the neck, you see this, the shape of my neck, this is tension, so I want to draw them shoulders down, lift my head away, and I want to breathe it into the tummy, big breath. Exhale. The next breath into the tummy, when we use the back muscles, lift the head and the heart and look up. And on the exhale, push the feet into the hands and lift the knees up off the floor. Try and keep the toes together. Lift the head, big breath. Into the belly. And relax. Release the feet, make a little pillow for your hands, lay your head down, shake your hips from side to side, breathe into the tummy, breathe into the lower back, release any tension, you can turn the head to the opposite side, and then you're set again then for whatever asana you, you put on next. So we'll do that again. Toes are together, knees are together. I'm going to bend the knees. I'm either going to put a belt around my feet so I can hold the belt, or if I can, take a hold of the feet. Inhale into the tummy. Exhale. Inhale, lift the head and the heart. Exhale, push into the feet, lift the head. Breathe into the tummy. Exhale, release, make a little pillow, shake your hips from side to side. Ah. And then coming up to kneeling. So there we have it, the bow pose. Remember, breathe into the tummy and that helps support the spine from underneath. If you can't reach the feet, you can pop a yoga belt around the feet. But remember, keep them shoulders together and drawn down so it lifts that tension out of the neck and that makes the lifting of the head much easier if the shoulders aren't up. So think about them structures, you want to think, you're really opening the shoulders by squeezing the shoulder blades, which creates that space to lift into. But remember, breathe into the tummy, this is a really strong safety tip. It can prevent any sort of unnecessary little twinges in the back. So, there we have it. Namaste. Okay. <laughs> Peace,